In this session, I'll be discussing about some of the questions from Kingdom Protesta and Kingdom Fungus. When we move on to the first question, the question is single cell eukaryotes are included in. Now they are asking you about eukaryotes, so archaea and monera left, are left out because they are the members of prokaryotes. But now they are also asking you about single cell. So single cell uh, protesta. Remember this particular kingdom? Protesta is the kingdom of all single cell eukaryotes. Now, when you move on to next question, which one of the following is a slime mold? I've told you this very important thing. Slime mold example I've told you. And if you remember, Anabiana is a cyanobacteria. Rhizopus is a fungus. Thiobacillus is again a bacteria. What is left is Physerum. Physerum is a very important name, which is a slime mold. This question has been coming in most of the exams. It has been asked two, three times. So remember, Physerum is a slime mold. Which of the following organism possess characteristics of a plant and an animal? Very important thing. The organism which has the characters of plant and animal, the time I was talking about, Euglena. I've told you that Euglena is also called plant animal. Because it has something related to plant, it has also something related to animal. It can photosynthesize, it has chloroplast, so it can make the own food. It is autotrophic and that is what it is resembling with plant. It doesn't have cell wall, it uh, looks forward for longitudinal binary fission are the characters which are mixing up with the animals. So they are considered as plant animals. So Euglena is the correct answer. When there are two haploid nuclei per cell, okay, so in a cell, like you have a cell, you have two haploid nuclei, this and this. In some fungus, very important, this occurs in some fungus, before the formation of a diploid stage, like this. So this is like this is there. They are talking about this particular phase. This is not diploid phase. This is diploid phase. You remember this is diploid phase. Now this is not haploid phase also. This is like this. Like this is haploid. This is haploid. When both of them have fused, they have formed this stage. So this stage is called dikaryophase. The phase in which di means two carry-on are sitting, two nuclear are sitting. So the phase is dikaryophase. Paxenia forms uridia. If you remember Paxenia life cycle, I've told you, the wheat, it infects and on the what you call infection, it possesses two types of spores on the wheat. On the wheat leaves, it makes what you call uridia and apart from uridia, it also makes telia. So uridiospores and teliospores were formed in wheat, remember. Moving to the next question, ringworm in humans is caused by, the ringworm is a fungus basically. So the question answer will be what you call ringworm of the human is caused by fungus. Ergot of rye, very important disease, I've told you about ergotism which has been caused by Claviceps purpurea. Remember these three names are different things, this is causing smut, this is causing collector trichum falcatum was causing red rot of sugarcane, phytophthora infestans causes slate blight of potato. Claviceps purpurea, which is also responsible for releasing LSD. This is responsible for the disease called ergot of rye. Cellulose is the major component in the cell wall of. Now, all these names they are giving you Xanthomonas or Pseudomonas. They are the bacteria, so you will have what you call Papteroglycan. Saccharomyces is a fungus, you will have chitin. Pythium, I've told you, but remember, this is the member of Humycetes. I've told you most of the fungus, their cell wall is made up of chitin. Except two my cities member and room my cities member. I've told you this name called Pythium. Remember this particular name apart from Pythium Some of the other times they will also write you Phytophthora. So Phytophthora is also one of our uh, what you call the members of who my cities. So this answer is Pythium Which one of the following uh, Which one is the wrong pairing for the disease and its causal organism? So you'll have to find the wrong match black rust of wheat Paxenia graminis fritiga is the correct answer, the work which was done by Professor Casey Mehta. I've already taught you the life cycle of Paxenia. Loose mutt of wheat is called by Eustilaja Nuda. Red rot of sugarcane, I've told you about red rot, right? In sugarcane, the red rots were coming. This is because of what you call collector trichum falcatum. And we talk about late blight, Alternaria salanin doesn't cause late blight, it causes early blight. It should have been early blight here. Or if it was red blight, what you call late, late blight, it should have been what you call Phytophthora infestant. So this is the wrongly matched answer. This is of the, uh, you know, this, this will be the answer for this particular question. Now, we have discussed about some of the questions from Protista and Fungus. The next session we'll be discussing about some questions based upon viruses, lichens and mycorrhiza.